Let us pray. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and grief we bear. All because we do not care. Everything to God in prayer. Our Father in heaven, we come at this time with nothing but a heart full of thanks. Thank me, our Heavenly Father, for life, health, and strength. Yes. But most of all, we thank you for thy Son, Jesus Christ. Oh, yes. The one who died on Calvary, that we may have a right to the tree of life. Yes. We come, our Heavenly Father, just to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, our Heavenly Father, because the blood is still running warm in our veins. We realize, our Heavenly Father, as we think back to yesterday, someone that we walk with or talk with, but if they call them by name this morning, they would not be able to ask. We just want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you our Heavenly Father, for your grace, and we thank you for thy mercy. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, for where you brought us from. We thank you for where you're going to carry us. But we just thank you. Thank you. To be in the one more time. One more time. We realize, our Heavenly Father, there is a lot of sickness around us. There is a lot of bereavement and death around us, our Heavenly Father. But we realize, our Heavenly Father, that you know all about us. Yes. But we just ask thee to touch, just touch them in a special way. Yes. Yes. Then look upon this president that we have in the over office. Yes. Look upon our soldiers that are out on the battlefield. Oh, yes. And then just look upon this old world as a whole. We realize, our Heavenly Father, there's troubles all around us. We just ask thee, and we know that you know all about it, but we just ask thee to just touch them in a special way. And then, our Heavenly Father, we ask thee to please forgive of all our many sins. Thanks, our Heavenly Father, that we thought of things that we may have not even thought of. We ask thee, O oh God, to please forgive us. So when that day come and we must all go in that old room, there'll be always howdy howdy yes. and no more goodbyes. We love you and we praise you. It's in Jesus' name we pray.
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting and all of God's people say amen. amen. It becomes me on this Lord's Day, every day is the Lord's Day, to, get, to give all glory, honor, and praise unto God who has called us out of darkness yes, into his marvelous light. We indeed honor his presence, amen. amen. We thank God for the joyous time that we've had thus far. Amen. The privilege of coming and engaging in worship in the back. Yes. In fellowship, which God honors when men come together. Amen. amen. And I was I was very delighted to see all the cars outside. I couldn't wait to get inside to see what was going on. I heard the musicians singing and you all praising God all together. It's a marvelous thing when men, particularly black men, yes, sir. Yes, sir. come together mm -hmm. and come together in the name of the Lord. It's one thing gathering, but in the name of the Lord, Amen. it makes all the difference. We honor your venerable and esteemed pastor, Pastor Thomas, and, and he did share with me that he was going to the funeral uh, of one of our brother's wives who has gone on and went to refreshment. Amen. Left these coasts, these sides, and gone on to be with the Lord. We thank God for her life. Amen. Amen. And uh, we're going to not be with you long. If you hurry up and say amen, amen. I will hurry up and preach. Amen. amen. In the guidance of the Holy Spirit, we're honored to be in this pulpit again. And we thank Pastor Thomas for inviting us. And we take no invitation lightly because nobody has to ask you to do anything. Yeah. Amen? Amen. So we're glad to be here again and we just thank God for how you all have orchestrated the service and uh, the men having the courage to get up yes. and say something good about the community, about fellowship, about men. Amen. Yeah. And fatherhood and brotherhood. All of those things that you all uttered in the back and we are honored to the diaconate who are here and to our brother preachers who are here, we thank God for you and you, especially you musicians. This is my minister of music, it's Thomas Branch, uh, Brother Kevin Green, we thank God for his willingness to come on out. We do have Brother Trusty Perry here, amen, and we thank God for him being here. I wish more of our men had come, but we thank God for the two that are here, amen, amen, and uh, and they're going to go back and take it back and tell the story of what they have observed and what they have felt and seen. And we just thank God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we bow before thy presence and we thank you, Lord, for another day's journey. And we're so glad that the world hadn't done us any harm. Thank you for these men, Lord, who have come together and the women who so wonderfully prepared a delectable breakfast for us. We thank you for that, Lord. And then the fellowship and the buzzing of talking one to another. We thank you for that, Lord, on this morning. Bless these men and as they have challenged God, even you, to bless them. So, Lord, bless them real good. Bless this hallowed place called Second Baptist. Bless our pastor, Lord, who you have planted as the angel of this place. Thank you right now and continue that his visionary spirit will be spread abroad throughout the congregation and that their fellowship, oh God, will be a wonderful thing. So Lord, bless us now. Breathe a fresh your spirit upon us and remove all of us from self and allow the illumination of the divine to come forth so that somebody might hear your word, that somebody might be made better, that somebody might be delivered. Yes. That somebody might be set free. Oh, yes. That somebody might be healed. That somebody might be saved. Yes. Now as always, not our will, but thine will be done. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. I want to talk about this morning looking for the right man. Right. Looking right. for the right man. Looking. Look at your neighbor and say, looking. Looking for the right man. Right. Looking for the right man. Looking for the right man. Thank you, brother. We're going to 
lift up our, our scripture, we'll be guided out of that first song. The first song, looking for the right man. Mm -hmm. The psalmist says, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yes, nor yes. standeth in the way of sinners, nor mm -hmm. sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Mm -hmm. But his delight is in the mm -hmm. law of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. Mm -hmm. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Oh, yes. And bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Yes. Yes. The ungodly are not so, but are like the shaft, that the wind driveth away. Mm -hmm. Therefore the ungodly shall, shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For yes. the Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. But the way of the ungodly shall perish. Yes, it is a man looking for the right man. The right man. The psalmist discloses to us that there is a man in this psalm. Mm -hmm. It is a psalm of David. His name is not tagged to it, but it is a psalm of David. And he leaves, the psalmist, the writer, leaves himself out of this because it's somebody greater than him. Mm -hmm. the proper, the proper, uh, the proper engagement in this song. Uh -huh. Blessed is a man. Mm -hmm. But it goes beyond that. The right interpretation of that first verse lets us know that the man is greater than David. Uh -huh. yeah. Blessed is a man. The proper interpretation, inscription in this song it says, "Blessed is a man." Blessed is a man, blessed is a man. Listen to what he says. Blessed is a man that walketh, but it's greater than that. It's blessed is a man that hath not. Hallelujah. All right. That hath not. It's not just blessed is a man that walketh not, but blessed is a man that hath not walked. All right. Hallelujah. And there's only one man that hath not walked. Yes. Uh, hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. Uh, wow. There's only one man. Only one man that you can place in that. Yes. Only one man. And that one man is Jesus. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, somebody. Uh, uh, in this psalm, this is the preparatory psalm of what we would find from the outset in Genesis now, here it is, the psalmist has prepared a man by the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. This is a man that hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly. All of us yes. have walked in ungodliness. Yes. All of us. Yes, All of us have walked in the path of sinners. Uh -huh. All of us have engaged ourselves in waywardness and mm -hmm ungodliness, but there's only one man, uh -huh. and that man is Jesus. Yes, Am I right about it? Oh, yeah. And when you look at the psalm, you see the flavor of the psalm, the, the expounding of the psalm, blessed is a man who hath not walked in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Uh -huh. Each and every one of us. Yeah. The Bible says Paul even engaged he said, all of us all have yes. sinned yes, and fallen short of the glory yes, of God. There is none mm -hmm. of us that are righteous. Yes. No, not one. Only one man. Right. I said only one man. Right. If iron is going to sharpen iron, you've got to be engaged yes. with this one man. Right. Am I right about it? Right. And, the way, and the way to get to him, well, Paul lets us know he's concerned about his brethren. In that 10th chapter of Romans, uh -huh. in that 10th chapter, he, he's engaging. He lets us know 
and just uh -huh. to forgive you and to cleanse you. Yeah. That's not for anybody that's outside. Yeah. That's for all of us who are inside. Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? Well, yeah. That's why I'm glad. I, I'm glad I tell you that I've confessed my sin. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Every time I fall, he's right there to pick me up. Yeah. Yeah. Every time. And that, listen, I failed, I failed last night. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I've confessed my sin. Yeah. I, I fell this morning. Yeah. And I, could, I confess Thank my you. sin. Yeah. I fell on the way in here. Yeah. And I confess my Thank sin. You. So he 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 picks me up yeah. again yeah. and again yeah. and again. Yeah. Why? Because he's the right man. Yes. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Yeah. I'm tired, y'all. Yeah. I said I'm tired. I worked all night. Yeah. Drove down here. Yeah. Had to pull over. And get a nap. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Amen. So I'm almost done. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I'm going home to go to bed. Yes. <laughs> Y'all did enough preaching in there. Yes. I'm almost finished. Yes. But I know the right man. Yes. And I want you to know it. Yes. And as men, what we must do if we are engaged with the right man. I heard a brother say, Jesus said, and I. If I be lifted up, yeah. he said, I'll draw. Oh, we yeah. as black men sometimes are too proud to praise God. Yeah. But he's been too good to us, y'all. Uh -huh. I said he's been too good to yeah. us. Uh -huh. We ought not be ashamed to say amen. Yeah. Not ashamed to say hallelujah. Yeah. Not ashamed to clap our hands. Yeah. Not ashamed to cut a step. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh.
for sin. The right man is Jesus Christ. He's the one that keeps us together. He's the one that will hold us to these tumultuous, turmoil times. He's the one that will guide us and keep us. If any time we've ever needed strength, we need strength right now. We need to show the world that we can work together, that we can live together, that we can love each other, that we can help each other, and then not only help ourselves, but help our white brothers learn about what has been done. And it's all been done to the glory of God. Hallelujah. I said America needs to be brought to repentance. Yes. And until they repent yes. of what they have done, yes. God's going to hold back blessings. Yes. That this nation can truly be the greatest nation in the world because of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. 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 So whether they know it or not, they're going to need us after a while. They're going to need us. They're going to need us. To show them the way. Yeah. You're going to need us. Judgment is coming after us. Yeah. This nation is overdue. And God has had mercy on America. Oh, yeah. I said God has had mercy on America. Oh, yeah. Judgment is coming. Yeah. We all better be ready. It's coming. It's coming. Hallelujah. Is there one out of the office say, We bid you to come. If you looking for a church home laws of this church. If you don't want to join here, you can join. We'll send you to a church of your choice. Yes. But you need Jesus in your life. Yes. You gotta have him. Yes. You gotta have him. You gotta have him. You gotta have him. You can't live without him. You gotta have him. And if our young men and young women out in the streets, when they see the church is doing right, when we're doing right by one another, when we're doing right by our pastors, yes. when we're doing right by our families, yes. when the, those who are messing with drugs and doing all types of hideous things out in the world, yes. when they see the church doing right, oh, yeah. they'll come. Yes. They'll come. Yes. They'll come. Because Jesus is the only way. There is no other way. He said, I am the way. The truth and the life. No man cometh. Unto the Father, but by me. He's the only one. He's the only one. He's the right man. He can save anybody in any condition. He can do it right now. Right now. Right now. Would you bow and pray? Gracious Savior, Lord, we are grateful today that you are the right man. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for being the right man. And you're standing right now with your arms wide open. Thank you, God. We pray for this Barnwell community. There are so many, not only in this community, but there are so many unchurched, so many unsaved people, black, white, red, and yellow. Lord, help us to open our doors to others who are not like us, but they need you in the name of Jesus. They're going to come after a while. Yes. There's not going to be any place to go but to the church. So Lord, bless right now this place, these hallowed grounds. Bless the heart and voice and mind of Philip Thomas in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless the continuum of fellowship that we see. Yes, and make it even greater and expand yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Bless his sons and daughters. In Christ, Lord, bless the diaconate, the deacons, the trustees, the whole family of Second Church. In the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, the funeral that they're attending, bless that family. Oh, God, console and comfort their hearts. In the name of Jesus. Let them know that earth has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Should I give a benediction or not you? Not okay. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. I want to thank Reverend Cook for that message. Looking for the right thing.
I preach in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Um, one thing about it, um, uh, uh, Jerry's lovely, just my wife. <laughs> but we get along. We uh, looking for the right man. Uh, I met Dr. Cook many years ago. In the state convention, I saw him long before he came into this area. Uh, I didn't know he was living in this area. And he's doing the same thing. Amen. And uh, uh, I've always uh, enjoyed listening to him. And uh -huh. I think he played music too. Yes, I I've heard it <laughs> in the state of the right. Sometimes right. he got on the organ and whatnot. That's way back. Yes, sir. So we are old. I listened to him say he was on his way. had to stop by the road and take a nap. And you worked that night? Yes, sir. And uh, I hope he's saving some, as I told you back there, my wife, she's a member of Tabernacle Baptist Church in Black, Dr. Wallace, her pastor. And they're having a marvelous burning ceremony tomorrow evening at 2 o'clock. And I look on the pro, and he, your name is on the pro. Yes, sir. <laughs> to, do, to do the same thing. <laughs> God bless you. Let me have a smile upon you. Amen. And it's always a pleasure to have a second back. I feel at home when I come here. And uh, I, I, I'm sitting and just looking around. I'm going to be brief. I sat there and I look at that little table there. You know who made that table? Uh -huh. You know who made that table? Yeah. Why did I make that table? <laughs> made that table. <laughs> After the renovation, I said we need a table, a table to you know put the, the stuff on, you know, to stand. <laughs> so that's what I did brought in. And let us pray for all of our church houses and all of our congregations mm -hmm. that God will continue to bless us and men. I've enjoyed it now. I'm sorry that I won't be here tomorrow because I gotta go with my wife. You know. I gotta keep peace in the house. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And, and let me tell you this, she had her birthday on last Sunday, and she went to Honey for it. Mm -hmm. And you know what that meant? For me to go to Tabernacle tomorrow. That's what it's all about. So we, we hope that we see some of your faces in Tabernacle tomorrow. Support her. And Brother Church, when this men club thing began, who was in charge of that? Who, who started oh, up yesterday? started the men's day program in 27 years. And uh, when I saw this young man over here, with Johnny Gain, he used to give a hard time in his Sunday school class, right? <laughs> There's a son, a son, a son, a son. I know it was a Johnny somewhere, though. <laughs> but uh, these are some of the things we went through it. And God is continuing to bless us. Let me say that I'm going to sit down. Uh, April the 23rd. I'll be 86 years old. Bless you. Amen. The Lord has blessed me, and I'm glad. Somebody's been praying for me. Amen. And I know the Lord has blessed me. And I heard someone talking about the, the young men coming together, and uh, so many around. When I found the Lord, you know where I was? In the military. Mm -hmm. A lot of men was right. Up yeah. in the state of Washington, I'll never forget it. In the end of the chapter, there was just a few of us there in our prayer service, mm -hmm. and the Lord came into my life. Mm -hmm. And some of them, some of the soldiers said, "You mean tell me you gonna do that?" I said, "Yes." Sir. And the Lord, I asked the Lord to do something. I never forget. I asked Him to do something for me, but not let me go overseas. Mm -hmm. And I did not go overseas. And I said, mm -hmm. "Lord, you answered my prayer, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna serve you the rest of my life." Mm -hmm. That was 1954 mm -hmm. in February. 1954. I, never, I shall never forget it. So y'all pray for the old man that I might hold up the bloodstained banner and I have given you talk about in the political system, September I had 40 years Amen. in county government continuously. My Lord. When I uh, accept that position, they continue to send me back. We have to send in District 5 in Bamberg County. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.
and um, and all of you do. Uh, I say thank you. Uh, so many of you are very dear friends, high school classmate, schoolmate, uh, Elder Parker. He surprised me here with his son this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's the boy back, back there. Yeah. So uh, just you know, point them out. But uh, glad to have all of you. And as far as as Red knows now, if you if you wonder about his place in Second Baptist, when you step out the door, look at the front of the education building. That that bears his name. And he earned that. Amen. All right. So. Um, we have any announcements? Anybody want to make any announcements? If not, I'm going to ask for a supposed to do. And God has opened that way for us. People died 
so that we could vote. Amen. Amen. And that we would have some of the marvelous privileges that some people still don't want us to have. Amen. Amen. General Bill is coming here Amen. on tomorrow. Uh, I'm glad I came up before him. Amen. <laughs> He's going to come, the commanding general of Fort Jackson. And uh, just proud to say his name. Amen. 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 You all have a marvelous time on tomorrow. And lift up the name of the Lord. Huh? Don't be ashamed, y'all. Don't be ashamed. Because it excites, it excites the church when men praise God. Amen. In fact, this brother in the back right here, he was in the back, and I could feel the power in his life. Amen. God has done something for him. And this morning, all of the speeches and everything that God has moved in your life. And let him keep moving and blessing you so you can be a blessing to someone else. And to your honorable pastor, we thank him again in his absence. And we pray for the strength of this community. A church, a church must be a beacon of light in the community. You can tell how well the community is doing by how well the church is doing. Amen. If the church is doing well, the community will do well. Remember that. Gracious Savior, Lord, we thank you even now. We ask the blessings of God be upon this your people in the name of Jesus. And now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, to present your faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy yes. to the only wise God, our Savior, yes. the glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. And all of God's people said, Amen. Oh.